Hey everybody, welcome back to another tutorial with Krita. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different with this tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how I use Krita with its SVG features, bringing those into a program called ZBrush to make a three-dimensional object, and then sending that to a 3D printer to make into a physical object. And this is really cool that Krita is free and I can do this and I don't have to pay money for Illustrator or deal with the crazy interface of Inkscape. So let's get started. So I'm going to be bringing in an old, well not really old, but an older drawing. I have some crazy little ghosts here and I thought this would make a really cool little ornament or something you could hang off like maybe a keychain, or if you're crazy like me, you can decorate your Christmas tree with a bunch of Halloween themes or themed objects. So I'm going to pick one of these and begin to create a vector layer out of it using our um, tools over here. To start, I have to make a vector layer first because just selecting the tool and then starting to make my uh, outline and everything, it's not going to make a new layer automatically for me. I have to make sure to tell Krita, hey, I am using a vector layer. This is going to stay as a vector. So now I'm going to go ahead and use the tool. Alright, so we're using the Bezier, yeah, Bezier Curve tool. And I'm going to select, let's see. So keeping in mind this is going to be a 3D print, I don't want this to be a crazy curvy one like this. Or this, because may not come out as clean as I want. So let's go with this guy here. I'm going to lower the opacity I'll just a smidge on that layer and just to make sure we can see it. Let's see. I'll make this blue. A darker blue. Oops. Let's undo that. Now I'm just going to click and drag and make my points. Alright, so I'm just going to speed up the rest of the video. Uh, it just make it easier, save you guys some time. This is really just a process video, it's not so much a tutorial. And I've already gone over this feature in another video anyway, which I will link in the description somewhere. So if you want to learn how to use this tool, you can. Uh, right now I'm just refining the shape. But I want this to be as smooth as possible for when I export it as a layer SVG. That'll just make things easier on me when I create this or make this into a 3D object, which really won't take me uh, very long at all. Once I make this, it's kind of smooth sailing from here. So I'm just going to refine the eyes and I'm changing the fill layer to black and the eyes to white. The SVGs work better with black and white images. The white will be hollow and the black will be solid. Here I'm slowing it down so you can see where you export to an SVG. If you haven't, if you don't know that already, and I'm just saving up the file. Now this program is called ZBrush, and I'm importing that layer file from Krita into ZBrush. I mean, it's, all right, it's instantly a piece of uh, ge geometry, 3D object. And now I'm just going to go back and tweak that file a little bit. I'm adding a key ring so you can uh, print multiples and hook them up on a string for de decoration or whatever. And just playing with the size. Now I'm not sure if this is something that I did a user error but as you can see the white part didn't stay hollow when I exported that file from Krita. And I, I don't know if it's a, a Krita issue or a user issue. Because I've had that happen to me once before. So it might be something I'm doing. I'm going to have to explore that. But anyway, so as you can see, I'm refining the geometry in ZBrush, making sure my edges are the way I want them, uh, playing with some settings to see if I can make this any smoother. But a, a harder edge is easier for it to print. It's not perfect. It still needs some refining. I'm going to go back and, and change the final 3D form, but it'll work for a test print. I'm just double checking the geometry and I'm exporting this to an STL file, which is being brought into Cura. Cura is a free slicer program made by Ultimaker. 
and you can download it now if you want and just take a look at it even if you don't have a 3D printer. It's still kind of neat to play with. Unfortunately I did hit a setting which made the print fail. It did, it, it did something really weird to, and I don't know what I did and I didn't feel like going back and using uh, Kira to figure it out so because I had uh, this program called Simplify 3D already set up. So just do this back in Simplify and these are the settings I used. 0.2 millimeter layer height, uh, the nozzle temperature was 220, bed temperature was 60, and I scaled it up. Now this is the footage from printing a small little ghost, and as you can see it's printing layer by layer. It, the small ones took about 15-20 minutes to print, not that long, so the video only wound up being 6 seconds, so I had to stretch this out a little bit. And I think it came out really well. As you can see that's the top layer, really cute came out exactly as I wanted. Now as you can see here, there are some holes in it and that's because the layer, or this, the object itself is too small for that nozzle to really put filament or the plastic in those gaps, which is something that's easily fixed by scaling it up or changing the design of the ghost, which is what I'll do. And that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I know this is way different than what I've done before, but I kind of wanted to show creative being used in something that I don't think I've seen before or that no one has mentioned before and kind of giving people a, another program to use for something other than just drawing. So I hope this video was informa informative, if it was fun or whatever. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do another one, who knows.